Right now, I'm going to bring in Joe Claxton, and he's going to tell you his story as only he can tell it. Hey, Joe. Hey, how you doing, Rico? Good. Well, Rico, I'm going back to 1968 when I came in over on Puritan and Dexter, February 18th, 1968, which this coming February will be 47 years that I have been involved with Grace Temple back then and now Greater Grace Temple. And I remember coming in that cold February morning to a Sunday morning service, and more I tell you, I never, I never have been the same since. God filled me with the Holy Ghost that Sunday morning and the church just went up. And I just thank God for just shedding his grace and his love upon me, sparing me to be saved at a young man, 19 going on 20 years old. And now I'm 67 and I just thank God for the years because it's only been through God's grace that he's brought me this far. Is it true what I hear that you had, your mom and dad had most of the kids in the church at that time? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm from a family, my mother and father uh, having 17 boys and two girls and most, just about all, most of them all in the church. And back in those days, those lean days, I mean, it was just a blessing to see how God just worked miracles in our family providing for us. So that took place in what, what duties did you do at the church for that particular point? Well, so everybody has something to do because Bishop wouldn't have you sit in the audience. Everybody got busy. That's true. Uh, let's see, in 68, I remember I joined the radio choir at that time and uh, sang with them and traveled around various churches in and out of state uh, singing and, and uh, working with that group. And then I also was a, joined the, at that time it was called a baptismal committee where we would come and welcome new candidates to come in for baptism and take them back in the back there and help them change clothes and get them ready for baptism. And then coming on over to Schaefer, continue your work in that capacity. And I think that time I, I actually joined the, we call the male chorus at that time. Yes. And we traveled with them and sang with them with so many men just singing in the choir at that time. Which was started by uh, the pastor's wife, Sister Wilma Ellis. Yes, it sure was. And uh, coming on up later years, uh, when we got, got over to the cathedral, uh, I had the honor and the privilege of Bishop David Ellis asking me to join the deacon board and uh, formed in, in that capacity for a few years, serving him and just working with the Deacon Kite and Rico and other members of the deacon board and just, uh, just, just benefiting from the experience and the longevity and the, that they all had at that time. I remember so many of the former older deacons that would talk to us younger deacons and we just shared and just reminisce on a lot of that good talk and instructions that they gave us back then. At that time we had two families, had two brothers on the board, the Howards and the Claxons. Yes, Claxons. yes. My brother David. Yes, my brother David who was actually um, a trustee in the church going way back into the, the, the 60s, awesome. being, being here in 1962 when Bishop, Bishop came. Actually, my brother David is the reason why I came to Greater Gate, Grace. Uh, list, uh, following him and watching him and just uh, wanting to be around him. Awesome. awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So now we're um, uh, in this year, 2015. I'm just so glad to be working in the capacity that I'm doing now, uh, working in the Call of Grace ministry, um, uh, encouraging and speaking God's words of wisdom to people to encourage them to just come on and be saved and strengthen those who are saved, to let them know that you can make it. Tell us about the building that uh, you had across the street from the, the, the school. Oh, what, yeah. What was the name of that and what oh. capacity, what, is it, what did that do? Okay, and that was also uh, came about by Bishop David Ellis. Uh, he helped me to acquire uh, a building that the church had back at that time in 1990. Six, yes, I believe, and uh, during that, no, 1988, and he blessed me to acquire that building, and I had a senior adult daycare business, and had that business for 22 years, operating out of that, that site, uh, providing senior care, daycare for elderly persons who should not be left alone home during the daytime, and that was a blessing also. So many people don't realize all the different entities that the church had 
We have a funeral home. We have a school. Yes. We have a senior citizen complex. Yes. We have a senior daycare business that you had. Yes. Grady Grace is ahead of his time. It truly was. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Bishop, now our Bishop Charles Ellis used to bring different ministers, used to come in from uh, for various reasons, for meetings and stuff, and even bring them to our facility just to show them what Greater Grace was doing about that time for the community. Greater Grace has always been a church that outreached into the community. That was our dear Bishop David Ellis' dream was always invite and be a friend to everybody. That was his model. Yes. Thank yes. you so much, Joe. We appreciate okay. your time. Okay. All right. You're welcome.